A Red Bull plane stunt did not take off as planned, leading to a crash landing here in Arizona over the weekend. News 4 Tucson's Angelique Lazardi is live in Eloy with the latest. Angelique. Yeah, well, Amanda, luckily, both of those pilots are going to be okay, but currently there is an investigation underway with the FAA. Now, earlier, we did speak with one longtime skydiver who tells the News 4 Tucson that she actually knows both of those pilots, and she weighed in on the stunt. No injuries in Sunday's Red Bull plane swap, but pilots Luke Aikens and Andy Farrington safely touched down to the ground. According to the stunt breakdown, they plan to skydive to 2,000 feet above ground level before getting into the other plane and flying up. Aikens was able to make the swap. Farrington had a parachute to safety. We proved that it was possible. I mean, we're pushing boundaries out here. And what's great is I jumped from one, I got in the other one, we landed, I landed safely, Andy landed safely under a parachute, the plane landed under a parachute. Uh, all of our safety protocols worked. Everything went smooth. Landing was good, so it was a great jump. Longtime skydiver Alice Hicks tells News 4 Tucson she knows both of the pilots and shared her thoughts regarding the stunt. I'm sure they'll go back to the, the drawing board to figure out what went wrong with that plane. You know, we're all speculating of what happened, but they're all just such experienced jumpers, you know, and, and Luke was the one that did the jump without the parachute a while back. So those guys, uh, We've seen them jump when they were in their 20s, and they, they were fantastic then. The FAA released this statement saying, quote, The FAA will investigate Sunday evening's attempted Red Bull plane swap in Arizona. One of the two single-engine Cessna 182 aircraft used in the stunt crashed after it spun out of control. The pilot landed safely by parachute. The other pilot regained control of the second aircraft and landed safely. The agency on Friday denied the organizer's request for an exemption from federal regulations that cover the safe operation of an aircraft, end quote. Now, once again, the FAA will be conducting their investigation regarding this incident, so make sure to stay with News 4 Tucson for the latest on this story. We're live in Eloy. I'm Angelique Lazardi. News 4 Tucson.